Good morning. Welcome. It's another beautiful day that the Lord has made. Holy Spirit, we say, teach us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we are going to look at the podcast for March 9. And it says, Automatic Saints. The Bible reading is taken from 2 Corinthians 4 verse 10. And it reads, Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest. Not everyone agrees with me that that full qualification for eternity is not instant or automatic or painless. I can only hope that you are wise enough, desirous enough, and spiritual enough to face up to the truth that every day is another day of spiritual preparation, another day of testing and discipline with our heavenly destination in mind. I hope too that you may begin to understand why many evangelical churches are in such a mess. It has become popular to preach a painless Christianity and automatic saintliness. It has become part of our instant culture. Just pour a little water on it, stare mindly, pick up the gospel tract, and you are on your Christian way. Lo, we are told this is Bible Christianity. It is nothing of sort. To depend upon that kind of formula is to experience only the outer fringe, the edge of what Christianity really is. For when the new birth is real and the wonder of regeneration has taken place, then comes the lifetime of preparation with the guardian of the Holy Spirit. So today we are looking at the fact that we are not automatic saints. And like I will say, giving your life to Jesus is not the end of your journey. But rather, giving your life to Jesus, accepting him as your personal Lord and Savior, confessing with your mouth, believing with your heart, and asking for repentance is the beginning of the journey. So when you become born again, you enter into this new life. The Holy Spirit begins to guide you on a lifetime journey with eternity as your focus. So don't let anybody deceive you that just picking up a little tract, reading one verse today here and there, it's enough. While if you do that, you might make heaven, but you will really not fulfill the full essence of your being a believer, the full essence of the will and the purpose of God for you. So if you are going to enjoy the fullness and walk in that fullness, you will have to do much more than just a casual reading of your Bible, a casual prayer here and there. You will have to actually seek. You have to actually pursue intimacy with God. You have to seek him. He said, when you seek, you will find. When you knock, the door will be open. This means you have to be intentional in your Christian work. Only then will you fulfill the will and the purpose of God. Only then can you receive the gift of God that he so graciously gives and be able to use this gift to edify the body of Christ. So I want you to examine your Christian life today and move beyond the realm of spiritual babes. When you are a new babe in Christ, yes, you can drink milk, but you must move to the age of maturing in Christ and developing a rich fellowship and intimacy with the Holy Spirit. The prayer here says, Dear Lord, I'm not interested in putting a religious facade for people to see. I want to make progress in becoming more like you today in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know about you. I want to become like Jesus. It's a hunger, it's a thirst, it's a passion in my heart. And I pray that as you begin to desire to know him, the Holy Spirit will satisfy you with an endless thirst and passion in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for today. We magnify your holy name. Holy Spirit, we say our desire is to know you. Our desire is to follow you until the end of age, O oh God. And Lord, we pray this morning that you will 
help us, Lord, to seek and find in Jesus' name. Amen. Until tomorrow, I'll join you for another fantastic time by God's grace. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Amen. <music>